Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, coming at you from Best Pizza in Williamsburg, where I'm joined by Frank Pinello. You know him from the pizza show on Viceland, and he's one of New York City's biggest pizza devotees. And while we're in Brooklyn, New York, the motherland for the classic no-fill slice in America, today we're exploring the obscene, the viral, headline-making pizzas that you've seen pop up all over your Instagram feed. And today we're gonna figure out how far is too far. I'm sort of a pizza purist. So I sort of like grew up going to these pizzerias that was, it was just a, a square or a round slice. That was your option. And now I think we're at a moment where there is no crossing the line. So this first one is the taco, taco, taco pizza from Tony Bologna's. This is insane, this is, this is absolutely, I think all my guys would quit if I asked them to make this pizza. 16 tacos on homemade tortillas, topped with Mexican cheese, fresh guacamole. Well, I don't think I've ever seen a pizza this crazy before in my life. Are you ready to dive in? Let's do it, man. It's not bad. <laughs> I feel like if I were high in my apartment, I might make this. That's a, this is like munchie food. <laughs> Right? It really this is. is. Like munchie food. The fact that you said that they're homemade, handmade tortillas at the place, to me just, it gives it like another level of like, damn. This pizza box, fully stocked with this pizza, weighs as much as a Range Rover tire. <laughs> Every delivery guy at Tony Bologna's just has traps like Brock Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> What's your verdict? on the Taco 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 pizza from Tony Bologna's. I give the Tony Bologna's pizza a thumbs up. I think that it's it's like clear that they put a lot of effort into it. I give it a thumbs up too, because you can take it apart. You can have it however you want. You want to eat a couple tacos and a slice of pizza. That's actually not a bad meal group. Next up, we have the Pizza Box Pizza from Vinny's Pizzeria in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Wow. So the pizza Ooh. comes in a pizza box made out of pizza. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen this one on, on Instagram, <laughs> on the internet, whatever. I wasn't sure if it was a joke or if it was a real thing or not, but this <laughs> is not a joke, this is real. I think I need to just kind of like break off a piece yeah, of this Yeah, we gotta box. get into this. I gotta, I wanna see. So like, it looks like there's like a Sicilian pizza underneath, then they got like a small pizza over here, and then they just did, like, this is like a pizza Bianco almost, and they just kind of do like a little fold over, you know what I'm saying, on top. This big thing, like, it needs to be something. Like, this needs to be like breakaway breadsticks, yeah, yeah, or like yeah. something like Give that. Give us a little like looks... perforated line in here or something, we could tear them apart. Something, this is too high maintenance for me. I love the idea of it, you know what I mean? I think it's a cool idea. I just think execution-wise, I need to work on a little bit. I'm hanging. I'm You're hanging. hanging. I want to see what you they do the with it. I'm going to revisit Vinny's in two, three years, see how this has evolved. Up next, we have Love at First Sight. It's out of the Crave It Sandwich Shop, an eatery in Queens, New York. And this has a little bit of everything. Mac and cheese, buffalo chicken, Cool Ranch Doritos. Wow. All together, it seems a little bit like too much, right? There's no way to figure that out. There's only one way to, to try it. That's true. All right. Well, that's impressive right there. You know that the pizza's kind of standing up to all those ingredients. On yeah, that. you would think that the flop factor on this would be a lot more severe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I think is 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 throwing me off a little bit? I think it's the Doritos. Mm -hmm. You know that Dorito dust yeah, yeah, does yeah, not yeah. complement <laughs> a pizza. The Dorito as dust well on its own. It would, yeah. Yeah, Dorito dust on its own is like crack. Like you can't Amazing. stop eating it, you know? But yeah, on the pizza, I don't know why. It's not really doing it for me. <laughs> Seems more like you're just trying to get a reaction out of someone rather than like make a good pizza. I think we're probably in the same on this one. Sorry, guys, yeah. sorry. Up next, the famous Super Slice from Pizza Barn in Yonkers. We each have our own pizza on this one because it's just one slice. It's just one slice. So if we turn this around. Oh, my on. This right here, pure Instagram bait. Yeah. Two pounds of dough in every slice. This is cool though. Like the back of it is really cooked. You know what I mean? It's, it's cooked like a really nice slice. 
Obviously, it's gonna flop hard. Oh, look, wow, not bad. Actually, the flop yeah. is better than I thought. No, nah, these guys did a good job, you know. Um, the challenge to making this pizza is having a pizza man with good hands. Oh, shit. Yo, guys, I might need some help with this one. Mahone. It still tastes like it could be a yeah, normal yeah, classic yeah. slice. This is cool. Bite for bite, you're getting that same experience. So for me, this is a thumbs up. Yeah, I, I give this one a thumbs up as well. This is the 24 karat gold pizza from Industry Kitchen in Manhattan. This pizza right here costs $2,000. Holy shit. So you do the math on that, that's $250 a slice, about $50 per bite. Squid ink pizza dough. Okay. White Stilton cheese from England. Okay. Caviar from the Caspian Sea. So this is real caviar. Truffles from France. Okay. 24 karat gold leaf. Foie gras on this the sauce. foie gras on the sauce, wow. Individually, they're all such special ingredients but I feel like all together on a pizza like this, they, they lose their... Mm -hmm. At a $2,000 price point though, gotta put it down. Gotta put thumbs down. All right, Frank, you've gone through some of the craziest, weirdest pizzas on the market. I need you, the pizza guy, to crown a king. I think Tony Bologna gets the crown. I give those guys props. I think they got their little niche in the market for the wacky pizza. It's a little bit off the beaten path, but you know, it delivers. And too, I like people that do that. I like people that have crazy ideas that on surface level, the snobs are all gonna turn their nose up at it. But then when you kind of dig into it a little bit, you see that the integrity of whatever they create, it still stands up. Is it safe to eat that much gold leaf? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out because we're not wasting this one. Yeah, we're not yeah. Wasting this one. Last time I had this much gold leaf was like a bottle of Goldschlager. <laughs>